What's up everybody, Ben here again with 4x4 Teardrops. Today we're going to do a quick little walkthrough on another 5x9 XTR with quite a few upgrades. Just want to show different options clients get, their build configurations, which is awesome because you can really build out a trailer exactly how you want it. Uh, to start off, this client kept the original tire size at 30 inches, 30 inch off-road tire. Up in the front here, under the A-frame tongue box. They just did a single battery, and then they did the 100 watt solar system. We're now running the Renogy Wanderer solar charger. So there's room if you want to add another battery in there. They also opted for the locking box up front here. I'm trying to do this one handed. There you go. So it sits on the platform. It's basically like a, a truck truck box uh, that we you know bolt on. Um, but if you ever want to take it off, you can, and then utilize that platform underneath. It's nice if you want to have larger items that you want to lock up. I'm a big fly fisherman, so, you know, fly rods, things like that would be good in there. Uh, they also opted for the new upgraded Stargazer, which is a full polycarbonate window up on the top here. So it's actually bigger than our original Stargazer. So it gives a little bit more light and you don't have to worry about anything breaking or anything like that. Not that we had any issues with the other one, but um, it's just a little stronger. So they went with the full gloss black with the black ops package. That's where we black out all the brushed aluminum as well as the black roof. And inside, so this is a different configuration that we can do. They opted for the hybrid cabinets. So the CNC hybrid cabinets is where you have the cubbies inside here, and then you have the full CNC cabinet option in the galley of the trailer. So all standard, you get those little cup holders. This is the bamboo mattress. This one's a little softer than the trifold uh, blue one that we do that folds into a couch. Uh, it kind of depends on what we can get in stock at the time. They did also opt for the dual reading lights right there. Uh, the airtight installation kit, so if they want to run the AC or, unit, AC or heat unit down the road, they can. Uh, like I've said in my other videos, all of our trailers, the XTR, uh, come standard with dual doors with screens. Uh, this client also opted for the second uh, side window option, uh, which is nice. Just kind of gives you more light and everything like that. And inside, they are also doing the upgraded 10-speed fan. It's a max air fan with a rain sensor. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's super quiet. Um, and I really like it. With the 12-volt power, you get the lights inside the cabin here. You got your voltage meter with USB and 12-volt plug. And then you also have the power strip side pockets as well. Okay, as we're moving to the back of the trailer, uh, this one does have the hot water option, so that's what you see there in the Pelican box. I've opened up quite a few of those before, so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like, what the water heater looks like. So this one has the Camp Lux instant hot. Okay, now to the back of the trailer. Once again, they got the black ops. So this diamond plate back here is blacked out. Two locking hatches and the full CNC back here. I think Vintage does a great job with their CNC cabinets. 
which this includes the cooler slide. So now we're doing these like locking slides, which is nice. Inside here, standard, you know, you have your shore power. That's that yellow section right there. You got your fuse box, pump. Uh, with this being the five by 10, or sorry, the five by nine, we do a 10 gallon water tank. You got your onboard charger, everything there. There is extra room in here. So if you guys want to kind of figure out how to put a bigger water tank or something like that, you can figure it out. This is just what we do in terms of assembly and what we know how to do. Uh, we're also doing the bigger 13 inch sink. So we got here just to show you the cabinets again. So those are pretty sweet. You won't have the pass through that you do uh, that since they did uh, the cubbies inside the cabin, but you get all those extra outlets and everything like that back here. But pretty good storage space. And then you could totally utilize the center here. And, you know, I was thinking about putting kind of a lip right here. Then you could use that for a bunch of extra storage as well. And then they also opted for the spare tire. As you can see, the rear stabilizer jacks are standard. Um, also the HD roof rack. So if you want to put a rooftop tent up there, you can. And instead of them getting the awning with us, they just got the brackets. So you can see the brackets are mounted up here. These are only 40 bucks. So it's worth getting these. And then you can kind of source your own awning. And then that's also another view where you can see that side window there as well. But anyway, this trailer came out pretty sweet. I really like the murdered out black on black. Pretty epic. And there you have it. I'm gonna keep posting videos. Got lots of clients getting super sweet trailers. So if you wanna keep seeing more, this is where I ask you to subscribe to the channel. Start adding more content, start doing some cool stuff on here. But anyway, hope you guys liked it. See ya.